are doing things that are so uncharacteristically wrong and bad that it's not Golden State that I'm watching in these games. You remember what happened in game three, the first of the, the two games at, at what's now called the Crypt. What happened down the stretch of the second quarter? They're up 11 with eight minutes to go. They miss 12 shots before halftime. They turn it over six times before halftime. They have three technical fouls in the last minute of the first half, and they go from up 11 to down 11, and that game was gone and over. Okay. What happened down the stretch last night? Fourth, they go into the fourth quarter. They're up seven points. To your point, Lonnie Walker comes right in, go boom, hit the first three, and then LeBron hit a little seven-footer, and then AD is a little feed from LeBron up and under. And all of a sudden, you look up and you say, wait a second, the game is tied. And then it teeters and it goes back and forth. And finally, Clay hits a big three. They finally got one to fall yes. with three minutes left. It fell and it looked like you were about to fall because they go up three points. Mr. Sharp, what happened to the defending champs from three minutes to the bitter end? They unraveled again. They just came all apart at the seams. They played shockingly, uncharacteristically, on Warriors basketball. If I could show you what happened, starting with Clay, please, we start with Clay. So he just hit a three, so he heat checks this one. And this is, you want to talk about a, that's, that's logo range. That was a bad I, idea. I, I, just, so, I want to be clever. Okay, that one, that okay but, but then he goes yeah. again, and Steph, and he misses that one, and now Steph, this is Steph that one. On AD, and AD can really defend on the perimeter, as LeBron said. They get, the, they get the rebound, yeah. the offensive rebound, and he says, I still got you. I still got you. And he step back. How many of those have you seen him hit? Yeah. Is that a timeout? I have no idea who he's throwing it to. And then off the jump ball, Steph gets it. And I don't know what possesses him. He just throws it over his head. There's nobody home. There's nobody over there. They have a timeout. Right. Then the two turnovers, and he misses that one. And then here goes Draymond on the play of the game that they called in the house. Oh. Nobody's home. Nobody's right. open. I'll, I'll go back in order. Okay, so we got two clay heat check three. <laughs> He's saying, okay, Steph, you're cold because he was cold as ice at that point. Yeah, he's 4 of 11, 4 of 4. Okay, okay. so he, clay says, I got you. I just made one, and then I don't got you, I don't got you. And then we get back-to-back -back Steph on AD. And as LeBron said after the game, LeBron was was seeing the praises of AD as the best defender in all of basketball. And you can certainly make a case because LeBron's case was range, that, that he can protect the rim as well as anybody right. can. But once more a time in high school, he played guard. When he goes out on the perimeter and gets locked with Steph, I don't think he's afraid of Steph, right. even though Steph should have the advantage on him. But he's got really great feet for right. a big man. Mm -hmm. So if any big can bother Steph on the perimeter, I would say it's Anthony Davis. But we're talking about the greatest shooter in the history of basketball. And people say, I'm too hard on Steph Curry. I'm just telling you the truth about Steph Curry. In Steph's playoff career, 14 times he has taken go-ahead shots in the final 50 seconds of fourth quarters and overtimes of playoff games. Okay. 14 times. He has made zero out of 14, and two more came, as you just saw last night. But we're talking about the greatest shooter in the history of basketball. He is 0 for 14 in those circumstances. Again, you guys in Cleveland came back on them from 3 to 1 down, obviously, in 2016, in large part because Steph, with two of the last three in his house at Oracle, came up even smaller than he is in those three fourth quarters. He was horrendously bad. And then against Toronto, Kawhi's Toronto, he missed a walk-off shot in Game 6 that could have at least sent it back to Toronto for a Game 7. He has not been big-time clutch, right. living up to his greatest shooter reputation that he has earned. I'll concede you that, Skip, but I think the biggest thing is that he's probably done enough damage by hitting heat checks before he gets to the last 50 okay, seconds I, of the game. I, I got no problem. I, and I agree. I'm just saying that th there is this glaring deficiency here that reared its ugly head again last night because he got a, a reprieve against A.D., and I thought he might drive on him because there's still enough clock left that if he, if he made an easy two, as you know, how, how did he kill Sacramento in the fourth quarter of game yeah. seven on Sabonis? He would get Sabonis locked up out there, and then he would just blow right by him and lay it up right. off the glass. Okay. So then, then we get to Draymond. They call this play, and Steve Kerr said after the game, we've run it a thousand times. All right, I had to take a quick time out for my day to say this, man. It's a certain someone, a certain he, a certain who, 
was calling Draymond a double agent, undercover agent. Both clutch clients. They're both clutch clients. That would all make sense. That would all make sense. Absolutely disgusting. The man started off the season wrecking the season. I told him that all the Golden State Warriors fans. Whatever. He basically saying, dude, selling the Warriors, man. Noted. Two plays that could be easily explained. Draymond, that last play when uh, AD, AD got the ball. I'm trying to say he just passed it to the AD. And then the other play when threw the ball to the Lakers bench. And both of these could be easily explained. Even Steve Kerr explained it. Passing the ball to the Lakers bench first. I like this. The Bruns in his second time already. Andrew's back in at the post. And that fits Oh. Um, and then he's... Calling for his mouth is full. He wants the game to be stopped. His cheeks are full. He doesn't even have to there. A little modified sky will go. There we go. Something has stopped on this. And there was no one over there. Hey, he left the floor. He ran through the tunnel. Into the locker room. Well, the Warriors were still on fire. Now. Something happened with Gary Payton. He's going to the locker room now. But he just stopped on this. And there was no one over there. He passed the ball to the Lakers bench because they was running a play. And he did not know that Gary Payton was out. He had ran to the locker room because he was spitting up in his mouth. Dumbass. Oh. And then he's calling for his mouth is full. He wants the game to be stopped. His cheeks are full. He doesn't. So they don't even know he wasn't even on the floor. They just running down and running their play. And when you got a team that you've been with and you know them, you know your man supposed to be in a certain spot. You ain't even got to look. You know he over there. And that's what he thought. He threw the ball over there. Gary Payton pulls him in right there. But Gary Payton in the locker room didn't even get a call, timeout call to none of that. He was he's throwing up in his mouth. Re, re, Rewatch it. The man was spitting up in his mouth and tried to get them to stop the game and stop the play and all that. And then just ran into the locker room. Now the last play. Steve Curry said the play was drawn up to where it's thought they had multiple options for a two-pointer and for a three-pointer. Clay in the corner for the three. Wiggins cutting for a two-pointer. But LeBron read that play. He's seen the play a million times, so he knew the play already once they called it. Right. Why is LeBron? Called the play. What was LeBron doing? Yeah, okay, boy, he's going to call it. And okay, that's, what, that's what Dream Love was going. Still hammer play. You know what? I give you that. LeBron skipped that one. To get on to Draymond because that was the whole mix-up. The hair y'all chasing your Wiggins and Clay. Yeah, that's what it was. That was the whole mix-up. The hair y'all chasing your said man and then you get lost you you'll step too slow and you can't catch the man that you actually supposed to be gotten because you're supposed to switch there's another option so like breaking down the lane and guess who else know you're running lebron he's running the play defended it well the, the, there are about uh, four different options on it but Draymond threat, wound up up in the air with no place to go he's under the banner shooting does a great job and it, it, you can just see job. Draymond that look of four like uh -oh. so he nobody's gets on, down nobody's there because they ran this play plenty of times because the play with the court, AD. that ball right. hit it. Nobody be bitching. Nobody be doing this all, all this, all this weird, goofy shit. But he cut, get under the basket, jump to pass, clay the ball. They all right. say the same thing I've been saying about Draymond Green. And see, here's the thing they like to do to you on YouTube, right? When I say something, right, a motherfucker act like they don't understand what I'm saying. Niggas will start hating on me. Niggas will start saying, oh, you just rambling, ticky, you don't know what you're talking about. All of this other stupid shit, right? And then when it's all said and done, and we gonna see what's what, ticky be right. And make me look delusional. But all that, that they, that they tried to assassinate me, and take me out, and make me look bad, and make me look delusional. But all I did was keep it 100. I ain't always right. While he's driving, LeBron tells AD, get in the corner. Because he knows that's where he's going. He's trying to find Clay. They're trying to go for a... a, a they're going to have to tie him. And they shoot. 
You know how the Warriors shoot. Clay wide open. It's an eighty percent, ninety percent chance he's knocking it down. Wide open in a corner three. But LeBron already knew the play. He told AD, "Go watch it." He told AD, "Man, get over there in that corner." And while uh, Draymond is in the air, what else he gonna do? So the ball is like, is he even trying to throw it to Clay? And while that's going on, Wiggins is cutting to the basket. But LeBron is on him already. So it kind of like the ball is kind of like in between going to either Clay or Andrew Wiggins. And he stopped it. Cut the cat. I ain't always right.